people too, especially who use profanity in such inappropriate settings, you know, in restaurants and public places around kids, around ladies, these people, they have to compensate for just the weakness of themselves and who they are and they it makes them feel tough or bold or whatever by saying things like that and um you know i see right through that stuff and i'm not impressed um not only are you not scaring me you're revealing your weakness and only emboldening me even more to confront you and so i did have one time i remember when i worked at mcdonald's you know i i would talk to my coworkers and i was always nice I was like, listen, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't use that kind of language around me. At least make an effort. And most of you know, most of them would. But I remember there was this one guy, man. This dude was scary. He was one of these just freaky looking dudes. He had his girlfriend's arm like carved into to his arm. And like it's bicep hair. He like took a razor blade and cut her name in his arm. It had this nasty scar. I mean, it was that big. And I remember one time I told him, I was like, listen... I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't talk that way around me. And he just looked at me and he just said, well, you better get used to it because I'm not going to stop. And you know what? I believed him. And you know what? He didn't stop. Thankfully, he eventually got fired for throwing knives. Uh, and um, don't know what ever happened to that dude. But again, I've just, I've never had a tolerance for that kind of thing. I have no respect for people who use profanity. I will be kind to people who maybe got saved later in life and are struggling, I'll, I'll be patient with those people. But you do need to get over it. And, uh, and especially as a Christian, because we are not to be offensive. And there are many things, there are many words that are offensive.